right, so this is uh, one of the more difficult questions you'll have to answer. And there's multiple steps here. And the first step we have to um, do is find the slope of our line that passes through point R and um, is perpendicular to neg uh, y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. Because if we're going to find the, we have to find the distance. So here, from a point to a line, and the shortest distance is always perpendicular. So the first thing we have to do is here's, a, we've got a point, and we have to find the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this, um, to this line. So the slope of the line then is going to be equal to the negative reciprocal, the slope of y, um, this line is negative 1 half, so the slope of the perpendicular line is going to be positive 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. Second thing we have to do is find the equation of our line that passes through point R, and so we're going to use then the equation m times x minus x1 is equal to y minus y1. And here we're going to use uh, point R in order to sub in. So x1 is 17. And this is going to be then 2 times x minus 17 is equal to y minus and y1 is 5. So our equation then is going to be 2x and 2 times negative 17 is negative 34 and y minus 5. And so if we put this into standard form, we're going to subtract y from both sides and add 5. So this is going to be then 2x minus y minus 34 plus 5 equals 0, which simplifies to be 2x minus y minus 29 equals 0. So now we found the equation of the line. And remember that we're trying to find the distance between r and the line that we were given in the first place. So what we're going to have to do is find the coordinates where these two lines intersect. So the third step here is to find, solve the linear system um, that we're, we now have, which is 2x minus y, and I'm going to extend the page here, 2x minus y minus 29 equals 0, and y equals negative 1 half x and it's minus 3. So what we can do is we can solve by, the easiest way here I think is solve by substitution because we've already got the y isolated here so we're going to sub in y, uh, for y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. So we'll write, rewrite this 2x minus and y is going to be negative 1 half x minus 3 and minus 29 equals 0. So this is 2x and we're going to distribute the negative sign through the bracket so this is plus 1 half x plus 3 minus 29 is equal to 0 and 2x uh, plus 1 half x. Now, remember, two, 2 is equal to 4 over 2. So if we, um, we're going to add this together, then this becomes 2 and a half x or 5 over 2x. And I know I'm skipping steps here, but you should be um, able to answer uh, to add fractions fairly uh, easily now. So minus 26 equals 0. So we have to solve for x. And we're going to add 26 to both sides. So then 5x over 2 is equal to 26. And we're going to multiply both sides by 2 and divide by 5. In other words, we're going to multiply both sides by 2 over 5. And 
and so the twos cancel out, fives left, cancel out, so you're left with 1x, which is just x is equal to, and this is going to be then uh, 26 times 2 is 52 over 5. Now, so the x coordinate is equal to 52 over 5. All right, so now we have to find the y coordinate, and if we sub into the equation, then um, for 2x minus y minus 29, then for x equals uh, 52 over 5, so this is 2 times 52 over 5 minus y minus 29, is equal to zero. Well, um, can't simplify, so it becomes one. Uh, two times 52 is 104 over five minus y minus 29 equals zero. Uh, we'll add y to both sides to isolate y. So y is equal to 104 over five. Now minus 29. We're going to find a common denominator. So we have to multiply 29 times 5, and 20. Uh, well, 5 times 30 is 150, so this is going to be 5 less than that, so at minus 45. So then y is equal to 104 minus 145, and that's going to be negative 41 over 5. And so our point then is 52, our point where they intersect will be 52 over 5 and negative, one, negative 41 over 5.